Now I will answer uh, some frequently asked questions of students. Number one, what are the accurate class limits? We are thinking about group data in statistics. Question two, how shall we determine the class marks, class midpoints? Uh, frequently asked question number three, this is how can we find the medium class? Which class is the median in? Question 4. What are the components of the formula for median? Uh, I will also talk about one additional question. What is the idea of the formula for median? How was the formula derived? So to answer these questions, we will consider this example of group data. Class intervals are like this. Frequencies of data are like this. Totally 169 data. So number one question is what are the accurate class limits? Here, 10 to 19, the first class. The second class is 20 to 29. So, what should we do with the data between 19 and 20? There is some gap. Data from 20, values from 20 and 29 will be here. And 30 to 39 will be here. So how about 29 by 1 or 29 by 2 or 3, if such values exist, where shall we put them? Yeah. So for um, precision, we must think all possible cases. Let's consider a real number line. So on the real number line, 10 is here and 19 is on the right. And 20 after that, then 20 to 29. After that, the next class begins at 30 and so on. So the first class, 10 to 19, second class runs from 20 to 29. This is the first class. Second class is here, so there's a gap, one unit. Divide the gap into two, so the middle is 19.5. Here also the gap is divided into two parts. 29.5 is the middle. And so, second class must begin at 19.5. So this is called the uh, accurate class limit, lower limit of the second class up to 29.5 exclusively. So from 19.5 exactly to less than 29.5 will be accurate second class. So accurate class limits of the Second class R, lower limit is 19.5, upper limit is 29.5. So they are called accurate class limits of the second class. And similar class limits hold for other classes. How about the first class? This class ends at 19.5, and here 10. So to be consistent, we should start at uh, 9.5 here. Yeah. Okay, half. Let us start the first class for exactly 9.5 up to 19.5. Yeah, let's start. So the classes. Uh, actual lower limit of the first class is 9.5. Actual upper limit of the first class is 19.5. So this is the meaning of actual class limits 
actual class limit. Given class limits must be changed to actual class limits for further computing. Question 2. How shall we determine the class marks? Here, class mark. Four data are uh, within 9.5 and 19.5. We don't know their exact value here. Because we don't know their exact value, we will take the midpoint of this class S they are values to estimate mean to estimate median and so on so what is the midpoint you can see here you start at 9.5 9.5 to 19.5 is the class width so 19.5 and then 9.5 is 10 units long this length is so divide it into one half one half is five so here this point is 9.5 and you add 5. Then this midpoint is 9.5 plus 5, 14.5. This is the midpoint of the first class here. In the same way, 19.5 to 29.5 is the second class. The length is 10. The one half is five. So this point is on the real number line 19 by 5. 19 by 5 plus 5 is this point. This point is 24.5. Second class mark 24.5 here. So you 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 determine the class mark or class midpoint of each class like this. So you are now you assume that four data are 14.5 each, 66 data are 24.5 each, 47 data are 34.5 each and so on. To, to guess me mm, uh, mode like this, but not median. So question number two is answered. Question number three, how can we find the median class? Which class is the median in? Now you see, the total frequency n is 169. To find the median, you have to arrange all data on the real number line. So more or less on the left here. Yeah. So more or less of these four. This time we don't assume that their values are 14 by 5 each. Their values are between 19, 10 and 19. So their values are 10 and 19, less than 19, 4. They cannot be median because median is in the middle. If you divide by 2, you get about 84.5 80 fit 80 fit value is the median so after that the first class has only four values they are low values they cannot be median okay another 66 values yeah are higher they are less than and uh, not 19 and this is and yes 19.5 here they are at most yeah, less than 29.5 so 70 data are the first lowest 70 data are less than 29.5 there are only 70 if you count 1 2 3 4 from smallest to highest we are here only 70 not yet we we don't arrive the median value yet okay after that we must one two three to seventy after that you subtract seventy so minus seventy is fourteen point five fifteen data here fifteen okay if this is the median 
15. 15 starting from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15. Yeah, if you start from here, 70, over there, 15, 80 feet. Yeah, this is the median. Mm, so, median will be in this class, 30 to 39, because they are 47 data. They are 47 data all together uh, in this class, less than 39.5. Therefore, where is the median? Median is in the third class, we know now. Because median is the 85th or 84.5 data value. In the beginning classes, there are only 70 data. So, they cannot be median. Oh, you must add another 15, but here 47, more than 15, so 15 data, 85th data, 85th value must be in this class, median class. Now you know how to find median class, yeah? Question 4, what are the components of the formula for median? Suppose you remember this formula. Median, how we cast median for a set of group data. Median is L plus, what is L? Lower limit of the class containing median. So we see, lower limit of the class containing median. Lower limit of this class is 29.5, actual class limit, yeah? 29.5, so L is 29.5 N is 169 CF cumulative frequency cumulative frequency the cumulative frequency of values less than the lower limit of the median class so less than lower limit of the median class. Median class is here. Lower limit is 29 by 5. So what frequency, how many data are less than 29 by 5? 70. 70 data are less than 29 by 5. 70. F. Frequency in the median class. F. Frequency in the median class, 47, 47, I multiply, what is I, class width, containing the median, how wide the median class is, how wide, 29 by 5 to 39 by 5. 39 by 5 minus 29 by 5 is 10. Class width is 10. Okay. Now you use calculator. 29 by 5 plus you press calculator like this 169 divided by 2 minus 70. You divide by 47, then multiply with 10, finally press equal to. And you will get the answer. This is the estimated median. So this is how you guess median. So additional question, what is the idea of the formula for median? How was the formula derived? This is explained already. In estimating median, we don't assume that all data in each class have the same value. Yeah, forget this. We don't assume that. We assume that all data in each class are equally spaced yeah, uh, along the class interval line. For, for instance, in the first class, the first class begins at 
9.5 and this dash 19.5. So four data are equally progressing like this. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Four values are equally different from immediate exercise. In the second class, there are 66 values. They divide, 66 values divide the whole class with 10 equally. Yeah, we assume like this. Here also, class width is 10, there are 47 data, 47 data divides the whole class with 10 equally. So one, one step is 1 divided by 47 and uh, 10 divided by 47 units long. So 15 pieces, 15 times. 14 point, 14 by fit, 14 by fit time. 15 or 14 by fit is not important. We are guessing only, so we don't care for 0.5 or uh, that small. Yeah? So to simplify, you divide M by 2, you get 84.5, we leave 84.5. We don't change to 85. So 29 by 5 is uh, the value of this number, this, yeah, here, this point. This point is 19.5. Over that, here, 29.5. Over that, 1, 2, 3, 15 step. You arrive median. So what is the real number value of median? 29 by 5 plus 15 times uh, 10 over 47 like this. Therefore, you get this formula. 29 by 5 plus, yeah, 14 by fifth, yeah. You divide 10 equally into 47 pieces. You take 14 by 5 steps. So you arrive at median. So if you see this diagram, you will understand. 70 data are less than 29 by 5. And if you start from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14 by fifth value, this will be median. So 29 by 5 plus this length is this median. This way, you get this formula for estimating median. Now, I answered this question.